Hey guys, another video here. So I would take a second and uh, talk about tires, specifically rear tires and the 525 Chinko uh, cheater tire. Uh, I run a 110, 118 on this bike. Um, and as far as traction goes, I, I got no complaints with this tire. It, it hooks up really well, as good as any other tire that I've ran. And it just, it really, I have zero complaints about the traction. You, it works well on the mud, works well on the softer stuff. Not as well, but as good as anything, you know, as far as I'm concerned. The knobs aren't super long on it, even when it's new. But it's soft enough to where it hooks up really well. The problem I have with this tire is that I can't get them to last very long. And I know this probably isn't in frame, but most of these knobs, these side knobs, are all torn in one degree or another. Missing a knob here. Uh, several knobs just uh, ready to come off and this is the second 525 cheater I ran and I've had this experience with both of them I just can't run a tire for very long um, it's great for traction and if you have endless amounts of money to just keep putting and enjoy changing tires I guess this would be a good one I think this tire uh, for me just doesn't work that well at, at higher speeds for the type of riding I do, the type of racing that I do. Um, it also, the other negative I have to it because it's a gummy tire is that it, it rolls really bad. You can feel the knobs rolling, which makes for some unpredictable handling in my, my perspective anyways. Um, this is a set, like I said, this is the second tire I ran. Both of them I had the same trouble with. I got maybe 20 hours out of the first one uh, and it ripped six or seven knobs off and I decided to get rid of it. Unfortunately, the, the knobs still had some height to them and they were rounded over, but the traction was still pretty good, even missing knobs. It just became a little bit unpredictable. Um, so, yeah. The other problem I've had with this tire is that this is the only tire in the last two years that I've suffered flats on. And I don't know. I think that's probably just luck of the draw more than anything, but I don't know. It doesn't make me super ambitious to run it in races if I have to worry about whether I can finish the race or not. I don't know what your experience is. I know that I've heard the 120, uh, the size 120 is better than the 110s as far as not ripping knobs off. And I'm sure I'll try that at some point, but as of right now, uh, I'll always have one of these on my shelf, but um, not gonna be my main go-to tire, that's for sure. I don't know, what's everybody else running for tires uh, for racing GP style races? Um, I guess there's a reason why the motocross guys don't uh, run gummy tires for their tires on the track. They probably wouldn't last a moto, but I think for slower, more technical riding anyhow, I think this is a great tire. You're just out riding with your buddies. Again, it's a great tire. It's still relatively affordable. I think it's still under hundred bucks. Not sure about that, but I think, uh, I don't know. What's your thoughts on it? Thanks for watching.